It has been sounded important for the public and private sector along with civil society to benchmark the new provisions in the new budget with the past ones in order to account for government spending. In an exclusive interview with Julius Kapwepwe, the program's director at Uganda Debt Network, he shares historical budget insights on key sectors. Uganda's national budget has been numerically increasing over the years, giving specific attention to unique needs per sector. Let's look at agriculture as an example in financial year 2015-16. Uh, agricultural sector was allocated 510 billion shillings in 2016-17. It increased to 855 billion shillings. Um, financial year 18-19, uh, it became 945 billion shillings towards the period. And in uh, financial year 2019-2020, uh, it, agriculture received over a trillion shillings and of course that trend is also going to continue into the forthcoming financial year. Despite an average increase in the budgets the past financial years in sectors like agriculture, social development, works, transport, legislature and education, some others have had minor increases and decreases. The health sector's allocation has been reduced from 2.78 trillion in this financial year 2020-2021 to 2.523 trillion shillings this coming financial year. There has been a bit of reduction in the forthcoming financial year in the new budget, in other words, but that mainly is on account of end of some of the donor projects. Some of the grants also have not come through, so the yield expectation has been a bit lower than should have been. Otherwise, if you go by the promises that hitherto had been made by some of the international development contributors and the like. Of course, there has generally been a declining uh, in grants globally. It's not just a Ugandan matter. Globally, because of the COVID situation and the reducing financial muscles. Despite the coming national budget being 900 billion shillings less than the current, Government, according to NDP3, will now finance national budgets with the program best approach, as opposed to sector best, to enable successful decentralization of national resources. The contribution of that particular loan that had been gotten from the World Bank, initially 150 billion million dollars, but which subsequently uh, expanded to include to to to, to include other cities from 14 initially planned for to 26 to date that has been exponential performance challenges notwithstanding the bit of stealing and uh, underperformance in some areas so overall i think we are going into the next financial year when the country is at a better stand or stance for that matter than we were five years ago other important aspects to put into consideration are the new 13 proposed tax measures that will aid revenue collection and the country's debt management strategy to ensure a progressive performance. Wadulo Makanold, UBC News.